in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit one true god forever and ever amen dearly beloved in christ tomorrow's gospel passage is from saint matthew chapter 17 verses 22 to 27 coming to capernaum the tax collector asked saint peter does your teacher not pay the temple tax and peter says Yes. This tax was not a Roman civil tax but a religious one supporting the temple in Jerusalem. In Exodus chapter 30 verses 11 to 16 God instructs Moses to take a half shekel from every male 20 years and older. It provided for the work of the tabernacle and later of the temple including during the time of Jesus Christ since peter did not want to bring dishonor and danger on jesus he says that jesus pays the tax when peter enters the house jesus immediately asks him about taxation from whom do the kings of the earth take customs or taxes from their sons or from strangers Peter answers the question with the only possible answer from strangers and Jesus replies then the sons are free Jesus affirms that he is the son of god and is exempted from paying tax I really like the approach of Jesus to Peter for confrontation confronting people is not always easy mostly because we tend to complicate things we get angry or aggressive and we over explain the problem and also we don't quite have the facts straight here jesus chooses a very unique methodology to confront peter and that led to a solution this methodology is very useful in our social life here i am sharing a few tips we need to keep in mind when we confront people the first step is our mental preparation and emotional control we need to carefully evaluate what we are thinking and feeling and identify the real issue that we need to address tease out all the tangential factors emotions and issues that are neither relevant nor essential to the discussion then assess how best to approach this specific person remember that each person has a unique set of preferences values mindsets and world view also have a clear idea of what we are going to say here in this passage jesus uses the time between the tax collector's question and entering into the house to prepare himself for confrontation setting an environment for the dialogue is very important jesus was very particular in this regard that he started discussing the issue when they were alone in the house confrontation does not need a fight and particularly in public public fight only brings humiliation being hard on the issues but at the same time soft on the person is the main principle we need to follow when we confront the way jesus introduced the issue to peter is excellent he introduced the issue with much care respect and compassion and by doing that jesus avoids an embarrassing situation in other way jesus makes peter comfortable to talk the next step is introducing the issue The question Jesus asked Peter is very important. What do you think, Simon? From whom do kings of the earth take toll or tribute? From their children or from others? This question contains the fact and Jesus' attitude towards the whole issue. Asking the right question is very important in confrontations. The question we ask should help the other person to think and find solutions. 
द फाइनल स्टेप इज टू मेक रेसल्यूशन जीसस मेड पीटर अवेयर दैट जीसस इज एक्समटेड फ्रॉम पेइंग टैक्स सिंस ही इज द सन ऑफ गॉड बट टू अवॉइड द ऑफेंस टू द सोसाइटी पीटर इज आस्ड टू गो एंड कैस्ट ए हुक एंड गेट द कॉइन फ्रॉम द माउथ ऑफ द फिश एंड दिस इज गिवन to the tax collectors for Jesus and Peter agreeing on what each person will do to address the issue and setting goals that are specific measurable achievable timely and realistic is the final thing we should keep in mind when we confront Peter died for Jesus and for the kingdom of God and this was due to the strong conviction he had due to various reasons the gospels tell us how jesus loved him how jesus helped him in various situations how jesus protected him how jesus helped him to grow how jesus forgave him even though he denied him it is very important in our lives on how we treat people how we help them to grow can we also become problem solvers than becoming problem makers god bless us all